Hey everybody, my name is Natalie, and today I want to show you how easy it is to create your own text-only SVG files for use in your Cricut and Silhouette machines using Inkscape. Now you can find the download for this at inkscape.org, but I'm also going to put a link to this download in the description of this video so it's easy for you to find. So let's get started. First, you're going to open Inkscape. And the first thing you want to do when you get in here is you want to click over here in the upper left hand corner on File and Document Properties because we're going to change the do document properties in order to make this the best size that it needs to be for our Cricut Design Space, our, our silhouette machine. It's defaults to millimeters, but you want to change that to inches. So come over here to display units and scroll down to inches and select inches. And then on page, page size, you want to choose US letter. And that's defaults to eight and a half by 11. You can change this as, as well. So if you wanted to change this to 11.5, whoops. Just 11.5 by 11.5, you can do that. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to change the scale from 25.4 to just 1 because we don't want our image to be 25 times larger than what we created. Okay, close that out and you're set to go. So let's start creating. So this is a text only SVG. In a later video, I'm gonna show you how that you can take any image from the internet and make it into an SVG. But right now we're just gonna work with text because they're, it's two different methods. So select this little A on the left side of your screen that's underneath the pen, and then click somewhere on your little box here and type what you want it to say. All right, next you want to change your font or you can resize. I think I'm gonna resize first so that way when we change our font, we can see it easier. Make sure that this little lock up here is closed because you want it to resize the height and the width at the same time and not make it look funky, really tall and skinny or really short and long. All right, now we're going to change that font. So double click in there and make sure that your little cursor is inside the text box. And then click up in here where the font name is. And you can use your arrow keys and scroll through until you find something that you like. Or you can use the arrow key, the arrow right beside there, and you can scroll through using your mouse and pick one. Or if you know the name of the font that you want to use, you can just type it in. Amanese is what I want to use. Part of the reason why I like to use Inkscape as opposed to Cricut Design Space is because when you type something in cursive on Cricut Design Space, then you have to play around with the letter spacing and even sometimes ungroup it and move it around. This skips all that. And then also, once you get this in your Cricut Design Space, it's saved as a um, cut file rather than a text. So that, therefore, if you want to use this same design and cut it using your phone or uh, your iPad or your Chromebook or your tablet, you can do that because it's not a text. You don't have to have this text style downloaded on your device to use this. And that's also a great point. Okay, so now we wanna go ahead and select the font again because what we're gonna do now is change this from a text. You see down here at the bottom where it says text, Amanese 131.49. We wanna change that from text to a path, okay? We're gonna resize it first. I skipped that part, sorry about that. 
but you can resize it anytime. You can even resize it after you get it changed over to an SVG file. It doesn't matter. All right. So while you have that selected, we're going to go up here to path. And what, you're going to watch how this changes when I do this. Click on path, object to path. See how this changed down here? Now it says group of seven objects in layer one. Now, the next thing I want to do is make sure my text is still selected and go right over here to object ungroup. Now you see how there's a little perforated box around each one of those letters? That just means that each one of those letters is an individual cut file. Now you can save it like this, but it's going to make it an alphabet soup on your Cricut Design Space canvas. So therefore, we're gonna go ahead and weld it while we're here so that everything stays in the same place. Keep all those letters selected at the same time just the way they are. Now, if you happen to accidentally click, there's an easy way to select all of them again. Just left click your mouse and drag diagonally, making a box around all of your image there and then let up. When you let go of your mouse buttons, it'll highlight them again. So now, last step is to weld. And in Inkscape, you're going to do this by selecting Path, Union. Click on Union. And now you have just created your first text-only SVG. Now we're going to save this file to a folder on our computer. You may already have one created. If you don't, go ahead and create one. I have one on mine and it, it just makes it so much easier to save these images. When you get ready, go back up here to the upper left hand side or corner of your screen, click File, Save As. Next, you're gonna rename your SVG. and then click Save. Now you're done. You've just created your first text only SVG. Now you're gonna be able to go on and rewatch this video if you need to and create as many as you want to. At this point, you're just gonna upload it into Cricut Design Space just like you would any other image. Click on the upload down here, this little Cloud with, an, with the arrow, select Upload Image, Browse. Since you know where you saved it, this is where it comes in handy when if you've got a specific folder that you're saving into. And you know what it's, the name of it is. And you're just going to select that and click Open. And there it is. You don't have to clean it up or anything. It's all one image. Now, you want to go ahead and tag this because once you get the hang of this, you're going to have so many SVG files that you're going to find it hard to find them. This tag right here, it just helps you to be able to find this easier when you want to use it. Click Save. And there it is in Cricut Design Space. All you have to do at this point is just highlight it and insert it into your canvas. If you like this video, you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe so that you can be alerted to the next video. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to take any image from the internet and turn that into an SVG file. You can also, if you have any questions, you comment, use the comment section and ask me anything you'd like. Or you can, jo you can also join up with our Facebook group, Cricut A to Z for All Ages. I will leave a link to that in the description as well. Till next time, y'all have a happy crafting day.